Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you're dropping an early like. Thank you guys for the support on the channel so much recently. It has been absolutely amazing. We've been smashing it right now. Such a steady growth going on and I can't thank you guys enough for that. But anyway, in today's video, I have another special class up for you guys. Before we do start this class up, I just have a question. I want to know what you guys are playing more. Are you playing more multiplayer or are you playing more Warzone? Whichever one it is, let me know why you're playing that more. I would love to know. Me personally, I'm playing a lot more multiplayer. Don't know why I just prefer multiplayer to Warzone right now. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, in today I have a very special class setup. We are going to be covering Scumpy's MP5 class setup. Obviously, I'm sure you guys will know Scumpy very well, or Optic Scumpy as he used to be. Now a pro player for the Chicago Huntsman, if you guys do follow CDL. I'm a huge fan of CDL, I really enjoy watching it. And he's actually gone ahead and leaked his MP5 class setup for us, so that's what we're going to be trying out in today's video. Okay guys, as you can see on your screen, this is the class setup we're going to be using in today's video. This is Scumpy's class setup himself, he's leaked it for us all. It's a very insane class setup, obviously he's a pro player, so he's going to be no, he's going to know this gun better than a lot of us and know what's going to work best for it. And obviously using this class setup against a lot of other pl pro players, obviously, such a high level, this gun is going to stand out in lobbies, even if you try it out for yourself. I'm not going to run through every single attachment with you guys. The only thing I am going to point out is the under barrel. We are using the operator foregrip, and I know a lot of people seem to either prefer the Merc foregrip to this one. It's entirely up to you, but apparently on the class setup, he, the one he uses is the operator foregrip. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to be running the operator foregrip. But without further ado, guys, we're going to hop straight into the gameplay right now. I hope you guys do enjoy it. We have a pretty insane comeback on a hard point game on Shoot House. I go on an insane gun streak as well. It's super, super good. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Make sure you watch right to the very end so you don't miss out on this insane gameplay. Honestly, guys, it's insane. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the gameplay okay guys we have joined this hard point game on shoot house a little bit late and we are losing by a fair amount by 60 points I think that is so 50 points even and we die straight off the bat there hopefully we stand out with this class up obviously this is optic scumpy or scum or whatever you want to call him I need to mute this guy talking goodbye my friend hopefully we stand out with this pro player class up should hopefully help us out help us help us do pretty well as I'm mixing my words up I mean saying pronounce my words correctly concentrating on the game hopefully we can bring an insane class up as that kid gets absolutely beamed I'm weak I don't want to push anything right now obviously the mp5 is my favorite gun I've never ever used this class up before until today I didn't even know about it I'm not even sure if it had been leaked before this setup or not but I just was scrolling down Twitter today and I managed to stumble upon it so I thought hey why not I'll try this out and if it's anything decent then I'll make sure I do a video on it oh my god do a video on it and show you guys we're on a 5 kill streak right now, so not doing too bad. But yeah, this class setup feels super nice already. There's a lot of attachments I wouldn't have opted for in a pubs game, uh, personally. But it feels so good, and there's literally no recoil. This is probably one of the more accurate MP5 setups you can make. And it looks like teammates are doing a bit of work on the hill. We've got a VTOL. Oh my god, I'm getting straight out of there. I'm not even challenging that. Oh, I'm going to have to pick up this MP7, because the only problem I have with this setup, obviously, it being a pro player setup, they are going to die fairly often, they're not going to be able to go on insane streaks or anything. So they don't have to worry about ammo, I should have really opted for fully loaded, but we're going to be using sleight of hand as that's the class setup. Might be a problem because we only have 15 bullets, so hopefully we can, oh my god, use this MP7. With this MP7, I don't know what attachments this guy's got on it, whoever I've picked it up from. It feels super slow and sluggish, the ADS speed time is super duper slow. So I'm hoping I can run over a couple of, oh my god, I'm going to have to pull out the MP7. I run over a couple of bodies while using the MP5. That kid ran straight past me. Wow, there's nobody behind me. God knows. That kid's gonna get beamed. We're on a merciless right now, so I hope we don't choke the advance for one kill away. But you know I'm pronoun pronoun is that even the right word? Pronoun for choking advance UAVs? I think that's the right word. Yeah, I'm known for it basically, that's what I'm trying to say. This MP7 feels disgusting. I really want to get this off my hands, and I've got an advanced UAV. There's over here, you're gonna die my friend. Hopefully we can start a little nice streak going here. I would really, really like an MP5 ammo, I really would. I wanna use that over the MP5, obviously. Cause this MP7 is feels trash, honestly, it feels disgusting. Where are these guys? I'm gonna try and throw a C4 at them guys, but my teammate's gonna pick them up though. There's guys I'm trying to figure out where everybody is, I can't even speak, I'm super concentrating. Trying a little. See if them guys wanna come back for me. No, they're not. There's a couple of guys in here though, we're going to take one of them, nobody else, try and push around to get these guys, you're dead, and it looks like there's a guy gone up top into the office building, hopefully we can chase this guy down, 
There we go. We're on a ruthless right now. Pretty nice. We're still losing by a lot. 147 to 87. We are getting hammered right now. We need to really, really turn this game around. There's a guy on the head glitch to my right as well. Take that guy. Five bullets in this MP7. We're on a 17 gun streak right now. So we're doing pretty well. I'll pick this MP7 up. Hopefully it's a little bit better. I would like an MP5. Teammate's going to pick that guy up. But I don't know if we're going to be able to find one. They're on the hill as well. We really need to get them off the hill. Just on any chance of the teammates going to pick him up as well. Chance of getting this game back, you know. I would really like to win this game. It's going to be a struggle. There's only 40 seconds left as well of obviously the time. So we need to make sure we are keeping hold of the hill. To stand any chance of winning this game. Teammates are having a nice hold right now though. But I'm pretty sure they're going to be running around here somewhere, the enemy. Just a matter of time, and there we go, literally really ran straight into someone, luckily he didn't react as quickly as I did and he was sliding, so if that guy went sliding, I'm tempted to think he might have actually got me. There's a guy here as well, what are you doing my friend? Where's he going to peek from? He's lying down, if that name didn't pop up there, I would 100% have died, 100%. There's literally 28 seconds left and we're still losing, we're still 30 points behind. I might have to do some work for the team, actually get on the hill and play some OBJ. There's a guy in office building. We're on a relentless right now. We'll take it. Oh my god. You did my friend. We're on a 21 kill streak. No. <laughs> Damn, we got killed by a double nade. Damn, so unfortunate. It was on a nice streak as well. No, 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 no worries though. We've got the MP5 back. Hopefully we can do some work with this thing on the hill. Try and win this game. This MP5 setup though feels so nice. I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's a placebo effect. Because I know it's what skunk runs or not. But it just feels way nicer than what I'd usually run on my MP5. This might actually be my go-to setup. I've not changed my MP5 setup literally since the start of this game. I've had the same setup and I've always thought it's the best. But this setup feels way nicer. So if you haven't seen my MP5 class setup video. And you are running that same class setup. Oh my god. Then I would recommend trying this one out. You're going to get killed. There's one more guy. I've got seven bullets. Thank you very much. Killed him with the last bullet there. We're going to have to pick up this. 13 though. Oh, I'm gonna get shot in the back. We're still losing this game. There's 12 seconds on the clock. We just need to hold it for literally four, five seconds to get into the lead. And I think that's it. I think we managed to take hold of this game. Pretty insane comeback. I'm super, super happy about that. This class setup is honestly insane, guys. You really need to try it out for yourself though. I'm just gonna hold this hill, try and get a little bit more game time, see if anyone wants to push from this way, which doesn't seem to be. Oh, yeah, there's a guy here. This list gun is so, so good. These attachments, this setup is just so nice. The time to kill feels super fast as well compared to what it usually does. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because my usual setup probably has a suppressor on it. That's probably why. Stupidly, I should have really thought about that. But maybe I should have took it off a long time ago. But this setup is insane. If you guys play a lot of GBs, I've not played too many GBs recently. In fact, at all in Modern Warfare, I played them lowered from Black Ops 3 to Black Ops 4. But I've just kind of laid off this, this time around this year. Just because I've not had anyone to play with, to be honest. Um, but yeah, if you do play GBs or you play a lot of CDL or even in pubs, use this class setup for yourself. It, honestly, it shreds. It's super. It seriously is a standout class setup. As we get 35 kills there, I think we died tw tw two or three times. Not many times at all. Went on a pretty insane streak there. Just showing how good this gun actually is. Make sure you try it out for yourself, guys. Honestly, it's insane. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby. I hopefully, hope you guys did enjoy this video as I can get my words out. I'm just stuttering like mad recently. Make sure you try this class up out for yourself, though. It's really, really insane. Like I said, it's a pro player class up. Obviously, they're going to know what they're doing, what they're talking about. Probably even better than me and a lot of other YouTubers. So make sure you try this class up out for yourself. Honestly, it's so, so good. I couldn't believe the difference from my usual MP5 class up to using this MP5 class up. And I use the MP5 every single time I play. And being able to notice a significant difference like that is actually insane. So make sure you try it for yourself. You'll notice the difference. And honestly, you'll absolutely shred people apart with this setup. Also, guys, we are only days away from Season 4. So make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. I'm going to be covering all Season 4 news as it does drop. Everything to do with Season 4 is going to be on this channel. Make sure you subscribe and stay up to date and all the new guns, weapons, gameplays, class ups, everything to do with Call of Duty, everything to do with Season 4, whether it be Warzone or multiplayer, it's going to be covered on the channel. Make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button to stay up to date. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you do have bell notifications turned on so make sure you don't miss out on a single video I do upload. If you did enjoy this video though, smash a fat like on this video. It does mean a lot to me. A like really does go further than you do think. But yeah, apart from that guys, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links to them are in the description. To stay up to date with other things that's going off in my life apart from YouTube. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.